What up? This is Benji. I'm back with another tutorial on Geiss. And this time I'm going to show y'all how I do hi-hat triplet rows inside of Geiss. Uh, now, I've been trying to find like a, a real workaround to do this because a lot of people have been asking me about how to do it. And I should, I really didn't know how to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? Because either it was like, you're gonna have to have all your hi-hat rows and triplets, or you're gonna have to do it in another doll. All right. So I I, I found the workaround, thankfully. You know what I'm saying? And if anybody know any other way to do it, just let me know and I'll try it out. And let's just keep it going. But this is the way I found out how to do it. All right. So you're gonna use the different engines and set those different engines on different uh time signatures all right so you might have as you can see here this is my main engine engine one i'm setting this to 16th notes then i got engine two well i'm set setting that to eight triplet notes and engine three to eight i mean to 116 triplet notes and so on and so forth so i might even do like a 30 second 30 second triplet note all right so the only thing about this doing it like this is when you doing and i and i'll demonstrate when you're doing it like this the triplet notes don't come back the same way as a straightforward 16. so if you got like an eight triplet note it's not going to loop back at nine exactly you know what i'm saying and it's, it's not going to sync up with this uh 116 for anything that's uh just a straight trip just a straight straight notes so you have to find like where the loop back point will be all right so let me demonstrate that i'm just gonna put some i'm just gonna put some hi-hats in i'm on i'm at uh 150 so i just put like some hi-hats in here real quick and say i want to do like a at this nine bar at 13 i'm gonna do like a trip uh eighth triplet or oh, I do one so I just take this one out all right so and I'm gonna do like a sixteenth uh roll So now that I got that in there like that, what I have to do now is find where the loop back point is going to make sense for the triplet notes. So first thing I'm going to do is find the eighth triplet where the loop, the actual real loop back point. So that's going to be at this bar right here, which is 24. So I set my steps to 24 and it loop back right so now I got to set this to a, find the uh, the step loop back point for this excuse me I just hit the mic with so let's say 48 so I set that to 48 and now everything is to loop back right yeah so that's the only thing about doing it like this you just have to find where you want it to loop back at and uh and then start working from there now let's just throw some little drums in there so you can kind of like so i don't so you can kind of see how it really sound or whatever this thing ever hurry up All right, just some random pattern. So 
So yeah, um, this is a quick demonstration on how I would do triplet notes inside of Geist. And right now I'm using it in standalone mode. So if I was using a DAW, it'd be a whole different workflow. I wouldn't even do uh, actually triplet notes in here. I just do it in Ableton. But this is a workaround. And sometimes I, I do use Geist in standalone mode just to get a quick idea going. And then like I save like the kit, I save the preset just for future uh use or whatever just have loops all automatically ready and then you know uh do it that way and the thing about guys is you got so many engines with so so many engines uh with uh so many tracks that you can basically do your all, all your all your uh kick and snare work that's you know just straight 16th notes or eighth notes or whatever on a different engine and it, everything will still be okay so that's that's a you know that's a workflow that you can kind of get used to doing it that way and shoot i like doing it this way uh when i'm using it in standalone mode and it might work for you all right so thanks for watching this subscribe tell me what i can do better or if you got a different way of doing this or uh, a, a better way of doing it let me know i do got some new tutorials coming up uh that's just the first of many just just a quick tip so hit me up, subscribe, like, sh share, comment, and I'll get back with y'all later. Peace.